James Holder, IFL TV, in association with MTK Global. I'm in Rosal ABC with me. I've got none other than trainer Ian Burbage. How are you, Ian, mate? All good, mate. All good. You getting taller or what? What's going on? I'm sure standing in now. <laughs> <laughs> Is the gym on a bit of a slope on this side? Because I'm a bit, a bit wicked, a bit clunky. You could be, mate. We don't talk about slopes. We're that far on it, will we? So. <laughs> Oh, so much stick about my bionic there, but that's, my bionic is not what I'm here to talk to you about. I'm, exactly. here, to, I'm here to talk to you about your, your charge, Lenny Dawes, and his latest fight, the EBU title against Antonio Gigi. How, how has preparation everything been with Lenny? No, it's been good, mate. Now, once we got over the, the, the sort of last injury, now we've been all right. So, you know, he's back. We had the rest that we needed to have for the, for the fortnight. Um, started back training soon after, got the all clear to start back, and uh, no, he's been on fire now, ready to go, yeah, good. What, what does this mean to Lenny Dawes to, to, to potentially get his hands on this EBU title? Everything. When, we, when you think how close we have been talked yeah. twice before, um, obviously with what happened last time's well documented, he's the first one, um, so to get his third crack is fantastic, so no, it'd be brilliant, it's brilliant for him, can't wait for him to do it, and I hope he does. Is it testament to Hennessy Sports as well, for sort of believing in Lenny, and Getting, getting these opportunities he's requested. Yeah, definitely, without a doubt. Mick, Mick's you know, played a blinder for us again. You know, he's always, he always pulls something off. You know, I always remember ages ago speaking to someone, they said, you know, stick with Mick because he'll always get you things. And uh, in all fairness to him, Mick's delivered again. You can't knock it. Last time on the West Cross, the atmosphere was fantastic. People really get behind Lenny Dawes in this area. And having the fight here again, are we anticipating a, a big crowd there? Oh, um, mate, yeah. Day? I mean, tickets are flying. I mean, I, I, someone asked me for a couple today, and I'm, I'm stuck. I, I think I've got one or two left. I think that's it. I'm done after that. Um, no, the place was jumping last time, and it'll be the same again, for sure. I'm sure you has got some supporters coming over as well. So, you know, it'll be a cracking atmosphere, a cracking atmosphere, for sure. Little word on the undercard, who, who and as to who we can expect boxing? We've got Tony Banj, he's boxing, um, Peter McDonough's on it, Craig Wyatt's on it, another local one. Um, we've also got Johnny Phillips making his debut. Uh, we've got O'Shane Clark having his second fight. And there's another one we're hoping to pull off, but. We're just waiting on that one. I'll hopefully get confirmation later on today. Is there any truth in the rumour that you'll be putting on Peter McDonough versus Conor McGregor on the car? I'd love to get that. <laughs> I'd love to get that. Listen, no, no. if a man can pull it off, it's Peter McDonough, mate. I'll tell you. If any man can pull that fight off, it's Peter. So, yeah, I'd love to get that one on there for sure. What chance would you give a, a UFC MMA fighter against coming against a, a, a fully-fledged boxer? I think, I think it'd be difficult. Obviously, because of, of the difference of, of the styles, you know, you bear in mind that you look at the MMA fighters, to my brief knowledge of it, you know, spend sometimes spent more time on the floor through, through all the jujitsu stuff. But I don't know, I think it'd be difficult. Mm. I think it'd be difficult. Just because of the timing and head movement yeah. of the boxing, yeah. the skill level that goes into boxing. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm going to say I prefer boxing because that's my sport. But, you know, each to their own. I mean, I've got a mate of mine, Jason, who, who works on the MMA and he's right into it. So, He'll argue the other way as well, so yeah. it's opinions, and it? I suppose if you get a boxer in, in the sort of the, the MMA oh, ring... I think if you had a boxer ring. in an MMA ring, I think you'd get Muller to be truthful, because yeah, yeah. at some point he's going to get thrown on the floor. So, no, I, I think it'd be very, very difficult either way. Confident of a big win for Lenny, week Saturday? Yeah, I am confident, and that's not being... As I say, I've said before to you, James, that's not being arrogant, because Yig it's good, you know, but Lenny's done everything. We, we, you know, we're making sure he's 100% right on this one. And, you know, he's, he's looking good and he's looking at his best, so I'm, I'm confident in Lenny's ability. All right, well, listen, we wish you the best of luck with the fight. Hopefully we get to see you a bit more during fight week. And uh, yeah. thank you very much for giving us a bit of time. Pleasure, James, always. Thank you very much, Cheers, mate. mate. Cheers.